Hi there, signs of Gemini. This is Kim here to do a reading for you guys. This reading is going to be for you for whenever it really resonates with you. Um, I provide an open channel here. Sometimes stuff comes through. I don't know. It's for your better good. It's for your greater good. Better good. But do not take it if um, if it doesn't resonate. Obviously, don't take it if it doesn't resonate. But we're going to use the journey of the sacred bee. Let's burn some sage here, Gemini. I feel like your area needs to be cleaned. Some energy here. So this is white sage. This is, um, well, this is what lots of people use to clean out areas. There's different types of sage. This one in particular smells really nice. There you go. Okay. All right, so let's um, let's go ahead and start with the issue. What's the issue? I have two cards for the issue: the Seven of Swords reverse and the Page of Disc in the reverse. Challenge. So let's draw the cards first before before I get into reading them. Um, there's the Emperor as a challenge. Okay, what's the heart of the matter here? Justice and the Three of Cups. Celebration, abundance, clarity, truth. What's the past energy? Eight of Swords in the reverse. Eight of Swords in the reverse. Coming out of a kind of a mental prison here. I'm, I don't know why I'm starting to read them now, but let's, let's go to the past. Let's start with the past with this reading first. So I have the Eight of Cups, the Ten of Swords, the Six of Cups reverse with the Eight of Swords in the reverse. Right? So good new opportunities, um, completely starting from fresh, coming out of what you could, could say is a mental prison, and trying to fix or mend family issues or soulmate and separation issues. Here is this Ace of Cups in the past. The present energy is saying, look, Nine of Disc, here's your gain. Here's your financial windfall, your win or um, independence. Or, yeah, I mean, it might be about self-reliance and independence. Future energy. Future energy. Dang, here we go, Gemini, Ten of Cups, future energy, satiated. So not only do you have financial gain, reward for your efforts and good efforts being put in there uh, for sure anyway, really good efforts. We also have the Ten of Cups, which is you finally realizing that you can have this Nine of Discs. Sure, you can have that. You can have fancy cars. You can have fancy whatever you want. But when it comes to life, if you don't have the Ten of Cups, you won't ultimately ever be really satisfied. So that's the Ten of Cups saying, okay, finally you can reach some satisfaction. 
by, I'm going to go back to going back to what you can always have found in yourself instead of in anything material. But sometimes we have to, we want to go on that journey to experience that. And I don't think there's really anything wrong with that. We have lots of choices, lots of options here. But the Ten of Cups is like everything's going to be completely fine. Oh, look at that. I have the star energy. Five of Wands is in the reverse with the star energy. There's like hands up, no more fighting, don't want to fight. Um, don't want to have any of these silly games. Star energy here is, uh, well, this is just really a happy energy. Um, I see it as your hopes and your dreams coming true because of all of those things that we um, have dreamed of for so many years coming true. And the bee, I mean, if you look at the bee in its sense, just in its uh, literal sense, the bee is so important. And they have had issues in the past with the bees. Um, I don't know what still, I think there's still issues with um, bees and things like that and needing to make sure they stick around because they're responsible for pollinating things as well as some other animals and insects. So they're very, very important so that flowers and trees so that we see pretty growth they're actually important so that we can breathe since they're connected to the trees and the plants so the star is very important here and the no games no silliness is important too tell me about the in the environment wow persistence and not giving up queen of wands bold brave and persistence and not giving up even when you're the wounded bee, <laughs> you still you still um, persist. Still persist. What's the outcome? Whoa! Three of and why did I just hear a girl and Poe? That's strange. I don't usually hear. Like I didn't actually physically hear that. But it popped into my head as a thought, and I don't know why. So expanding, maybe you're a writer. Oh. The three of wands here. Um, yeah, expanding, confidence. It's the hive. And it's expanding. The Three of Wands is quite a journey for the Hive, too, right? All leading to this, and uh, and I think they're wanting me to point out, all leading to the healing of some pretty big issues. That is what I've got for your reading. Let's see, uh, energy-wise, I got a lot of, well, okay, Gemini, we got Libra, we got Aries influence, and we have a lot of um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, you do have celebration, fun, abundance with the water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Leo here with the star. What else? Princess of Disc or the Page of Disc in the reverse. Transparency on what lessons have been learned. Ultimately, doing something a different way to get things to move in the direction that you want to. Sometimes without force, fear, or control. What do they say? Um, catch more flies with honey. That's what they say. All right. Let's do some In the Shadows cards. Pretend you don't mean that much. I don't need your approval, which is good. I took the easy way out. I was careless with you. I 
I couldn't tell you face to face. I focused on you instead of my pain. I can still see you standing there. I don't really know you. I don't really know you. I want so I want to tell you so much. All right, so what we're going to do is pick it. Okay, and then we are more alike than I like to admit. So let's pick these up and um, pull from the Oracle decks. I think I'm gonna clean this fountain today. I was thinking, what else am I gonna do? I think I'm gonna clean a fountain. <laughs> All right. So what's the rest? What's the rest? Hey, you know what? That's a perfect example. Not well, not that. That's that's nice too. This one. How sometimes when the dust is scattered in the air, it's so hard to see. It's only when it settles down that you realize it's not that bad. Now you can see, right? Watchers, transpersonal, 60. It's what I've got for you. All right. So, my loves, there you go. Thank you so much for joining me. Sending you love and light. Um, you're always appreciated. Bye-bye.